Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and today's video I'm going to show you one of the most beneficial steps in order to increase your FPS here in Valorant and maybe even double them really depending on your system specs guys and I'm going to show you everything you need to know in order to really make a difference guys especially like a few very simple tools which can help you out which you can by the way all get on my discord guys just simply discord.gg slash lost stripes guys and they can find tons of support we have over 70,000 members so if you need any help in the future just simply feel free to join there guys and my mod team is gonna help you out and without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. And you guys, for this first step now, I'm going to show you how you can drastically improve the performance of your PC. All you guys gotta do in the first place is open up your task manager. And once we're in here, we should see in our details, just simply click onto it. And now you can see all the applications which are running on your PC. For me, it's like Discord, Streamlabs OBS, GoXLR application, Epic Games Web Helper, Wallpaper Engine, and all that stuff. And what are we going to do is actually click here now onto memory and we can see here now all the memory um, usage of like each and every single program. And then we can see basically like how much memory all of these tools are using on our PC. And we can see Discord uses the most amount with 261, 260 megabyte, which is a lot guys. And what I want you to do now in the first place is make sure that you actually turn off all the tools which are taking too much and are kind of unnecessary. So let's just say now as an example that I actually want to play Valorant and I have wallpaper engine running in the background. It takes 85 Mbits of my RAM guys, which is also quite a lot. So therefore what I would do usually is enter task guys, yeah, if I want to play some. Then we can see as well Epic Games Launcher, almost 110 megabytes running here in the background. Just simply turn it off if you don't need it and you want to play Valorant. You know what I'm saying guys. If you can of course as well disable Discord, 225 Mbits of your overall memory guys. That is so much actually. So therefore really go in here and try to disable as much as possible. And once you're done with playing Valorant, you can of course again use it. But yeah, for the time where you actually want a game guys, please make sure to turn off as many as possible. You know, just simply go here onto end task. And with that said, we're pretty much done here with the first step. And yeah guys, what are we now going to do in the first place is go into a window search bar and go for background applications, guys. Open it up. And what are we gonna do in this first step is make sure that we actually turn off all of our background applications, you know? We have something like 3D Viewer here, Cortana, Disney+, Plus, all the stuff which basically no one needs but just simply slows down our PC and causes us FPS drops. So therefore guys, just simply go here onto this and it says, you know, let apps run in the background and turn it to off guys. And with that said, we already improved the performance of our PC a little bit and let's continue with the next step. And as an additional step guys, I wanna showcase you no ping, which is in my opinion the best tool for whatever game you guys want to play let's just say as an example that you want to play valorant you're gonna type it in here go to select server and in the first place it helps you to find the server in your near with the least amount of ping for me it would be frankfurt 04 and you can see i have a lot less milliseconds here in comparison with something like frankfurt 05 even though they're both basically in the same city this server provides me with less ping so i can connect to it click here on to optimize for game and you can always make sure that you have the least amount of ping and additionally we can also go here into settings and we first of all have turbo games which is actually going to improve the responsiveness of my keyboard therefore give me less input delay if i just enable it here and then we also additionally have an fps booster this option will boost the fps of your game those give you better performance guys so therefore you can enable both of these here while trying to play valorant in the background and you will definitely get way more fps and also less input delay with these two actually checked in the background and then you can also select the server guys with the least amount of ping so it's kind of like an all-rounder guys and yeah with the link in the description you can get straight up 20 percent off guys you can also try it out for seven days absolutely for free and if you enjoy it afterwards you can purchase it you know what i'm saying guys this is like hashtag ad but i personally use no ping for every single game i play because it's so awesome you can boost the fps reduce your ping reduce your input delay and it's just overall one of the greatest tools so therefore make sure to check it out guys and with that said we're done here and yeah guys with that said this is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me so so much and if you still have any more questions feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below i try to answer as many as possible and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace